Hello and welcome Cancer to your monthly tarot and astrology reading for February 2023. My name is Jeff. I'm an astrologer and intuitive tarot reader here with you at Raise Your Vibration TV. This is a general reading for your sun, moon, or rising sign. It may resonate with you or not. No problem. Take what you need and leave the rest. I'd like to thank everyone for their likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. If you haven't yet, please do hit that subscribe button and support us here at Raise Your Vibration TV. Okay, Cancer, so let's begin your February 2023 forecast. Let's pull up the goings-on for the month. And right to begin with, we have two cards that I picked before I started the reading. I asked for a card from each deck to give messages from your guides and your angels. And we'll get to those at the end of the reading. So let's begin. So let's see what we have for Cancer in February 2023, the month of love. We should all be in, every month should be the month of love for us. But for this month, we really put, oh, there's a hidden card right there. All right, let's put these together. This was the first one that popped out, so I'm going to go with that. Well... This is surely the month for that. That's the lover's card right there. So what they want to focus on right now for some of the cancers out there, remember this is a general reading for your sun sign and your rising and your moon. So what we've got this week for the beginning of the month is it looks like we got the five of wands, which shows some kind of competition, some kind of... It could be drama centered around your relationship. And I'll tell you why it's probably drama is because on the 5th of this month, there is a full moon in your sign of, not in your sign, it is in actually Leo, but it's happening in your second house. That has to do with finances. So maybe there's some drama involving or, you know, a revolving around that. It could also be competing for some kind of money, some kind of forming a partnership. There's the Ace of Wands here, which is the new beginning. The Three of Wands, which is saying it's the time now for that. And it's focusing on the lover's card. So, of course, February is the month of um, love and all of that it encompasses. And I think what you're realizing here, what you may decide, is that, you know what, I'm going to get out of this this phase here where we've got all this drama and maybe there's all kinds of stuff going around at home and you look at your partner and say, you know what, we're going away for the weekend. You know, that's a new beginning. You're taking yourself out of the situation. You're not waiting for the right moment. You're being spontaneous and you're going for it. You know what I mean? So right out of the gate, that looks good. You know, you have the finances to be able to do that. So, you know, the full moon brings light to situations. And because you're so connected to the moon cancer, you know, these affect you just as much as everybody else, if not more. And because this full moon is happening in Leo, this is about opening your heart. This is about, you know, looking at the situation and maybe looking at your finances go and going, you know what? I think it's time that I uh, spend some time with me and my partner or you really make that, a co make a commitment to that. If it's for singles, this is you getting out of the competition and not looking at everybody around you and going, everybody's got somebody except me, you know, and you may be feeling like, you know what, this is the time where if I want a relationship to come into my life, I can't sit around and wait for it. I have to actually go out and make it happen. So right out of the gate for that week, it seems pretty steamy something's going on here cancer as long as your emotions are in tune there's a lot of fire involved in this so it could be dealing with fire signs aries leo sagittarius and because the full moon is in leo that very well could be um but with the lover's card there it's it's showing partnerships of some kind now we've got these cards wanting to come out so let's see how it adds to the story so there may be a message coming, something that's got you a little worried. Like I said, it could be tied to this situation, you know, and you get the idea of, you know what, I'm not going to let this get to me. I, I, I really hope that this month you're really paying attention 
to what the universe is telling you and, and you making a choice of whether to involve yourself in it or not, you know? And, uh, this could this could lead to you having a, a, an epiphany of, you know what, I'm not going to worry about these things that are coming at me. I'm actually going to focus on enjoying myself. So something shifts here, okay? Very telling. And as the month progresses, we're going to have the sun moving into Pisces. So it's a very dreamy. It's moving into a fellow water sign. So... It feels right, you know, it could be the right timing, being at the right place, right time, possibly meeting that person, you know, and there could be a worry of if you're single, that, look at that, if you're single, there could be a worry of it may never coming, but you have to not look at it like you're being robbed of something. That's the important part here. Don't feel like you've, you've lost time in this situation. Um, yeah, I, I think for some of you cancers out there, it's going to be a revelation that right at the beginning of the week, you know what, let's plan to go somewhere or let's do it this weekend. You know, it could be any time during the month. I would say mostly towards the new moon, but we're going to work our way into that. So don't feel like, see, there's a lot of things that seem to be wanting to pull you down this month. And you're not going to let it. You're actually going to take the steps forward to not sit in this energy, you know. And if you're single, the universe is really telling you don't look at what everybody else has and say, I don't have that. Be happy for the people that have relationships in your life. You know, there's nothing happier than being happy for other people. But you can also achieve this too. So you just have to open up to it. Instead of worrying about whether someone's going to come and you looking at your watch, you can actually open up to the idea that I'll have this happen to me at the right time at the right place and not feel like I've lost anything. And it's trying to show you that towards mid-month, things are going to balance out and a new beginning happens. So, I mean, you can't make this up, you know. <laughs> I really didn't think I would be doing love readings, but it seems like every reading that I've done has centered on love. And it's not even my main focus. It's just the way that the cards lay out and tell the story for what's happening. So around the new moon, which is February 20th, it's going to be in the sign of Pisces. Again, it's a fellow water sign. So you'll ease into this more. And it's in your ninth house of beliefs, religion, traveling and these are these are uh long distance trips um this could also be a if singles you could be finding somebody online maybe this could also be long distance kind of thing um but the ninth house is how do i believe what is how does it make me feel with the beliefs that i have are they serving my good or are they serving to hurt me in some way okay and then Venus moves into Aries on the same day. So there's a lot of love in the air. It's, and, you know, Venus moving into a fire sign. Oh, boy. You know, it gets steamy. It literally gets steamy. Venus moving in with that watery energy. And then all of a sudden you add that fire to it. Boy, do you get steam. And they want you to know that things are going to be changing quick. But it's a matter of you being excited about finding somebody. See, you have to act as if in order to get something. And there it comes. It walks in. And they want to clarify, and my right ear is ringing right at that moment, is that this is going to happen. But it's going to take a realization that your thoughts create your reality. It always comes down to that in any kind of decision or any kind of life change, major change, is that it all, it's all determined on our thoughts. So this will take place towards the end of the month. It's just that you can't let your thoughts get you down. That's the biggest thing in this whole reading. So let's add some more to that, add some more flavor to it, if we will. And see, so Cancer, it looks like if we get out of our head and stop looking at what everybody else has and take a good look at what we have to offer somebody, that person walks in. That's good for you. Oh, look at that. Look at that. First of all, you're strong enough. They want you to know that just keep that momentum up. Keep that momentum up. And another thing, 
It's the king and the queen of cups. So there is definitely a relationship here. You know, maybe maybe a, your your good relationship has gone through a little trouble. You know, it's it's gotten rocky. But I'm going to tell you something. If you hold true for the rest of the month, I have a feeling good things are going to happen. And this is king of the cups, queen of cups. This symbolizes the Piscean energy that's going on now. And you see these people close their eyes. They got their hands up in the air. He's connected to the water. He's connected to his emotions. And she's releasing and uh, receiving with emotions too. I mean, that's a great... I mean, and you got, you know... The sea life around you, I mean, these are your cards right here, Cancer. So what it's saying is that there's definitely a significant relationship on its way. But do you have the strength to endure? That's, I guess, the big question for this month. Do you have the strength to endure? I say full heart, heart, full, full heartedly that looking at this, there only seems to be your thoughts that get in the way. So I would open up to the possibilities of it. And if you can't find a solution, maybe it's time to get away. Maybe it's time for the two of you, if you're together, to plan a trip, a much-needed trip that will revitalize everything and add some more passion and love into it. That's what February is all about. So let's get some more cards from the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. Yeah, there's passion ignited right there. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Keep that passion ignited for this month. And look at that, the heart chakra. So we need to get our passion ignited. Maybe the relationship has gotten just a little stale. You know what I mean? Now it's time to re -in now integrate that passion and that power back into the relationship. I see some good things happening here. Yeah, look at that. You know, find it in your heart. You have every answer inside of you. When that says solitude, what that means is go within. You have the answers within. And it's also showing to definitely use your intuition. So you're going to be using your intuition with this situation, opening your heart, getting that passion ignited. I mean, look at that. That's incredible. And that's what this month is all about, is opening your heart. You have all the tools and you will find balance during the month. That's fantastic. Very good. Let's move on with some more cards for Cancer. What a good, what a good reading. What a feel-good reading. This the emotions feel good. As long as we don't get caught up with our own bullshit in our head, I think you're gonna have a much smoother month if you just open your heart and not look at distractions or maybe you're too worried about what other people think. I say Fuck them. You know what I mean? I mean, it, it really didn't mean to swear, but I mean, it's just getting a point across is, you know, you only live once. Take the chance. Open yourself up to love. This is the month to do it. And this will carry through throughout the rest of the year. Wow, look at, oh my God. <laughs> you can't make this up. All right. Oh, whoa. Cards are just flying out of my hands. All right. Spirit is so excited to get the message through to you. All right. Wise counsel. So it's feeling of belonging. And it's also learning something from this. You know, maybe sometimes you close your heart off. I know that you are a feeling person and sometimes you protect yourself. That's why cancer is the crab because it has those claws. And when it gets emotionally wounded, it it go ahead and defends itself. That's why the crab has those big claws to defend itself. But if you focus on the relationships and your emotions and make the right choices towards the relationship, it'll be fantastic because we have the 10 of earth, which is prosperity. It gives you more security in your relationship. And not only that, but you're setting a good example for your children or the people around you. You know, that love doesn't fail and love does exist. You know, you just have to go within. You've got the answers within. Get that passion ignited. And this will be one hell of a month for cancer. So, I mean, we're talking romance. We're talking really putting out there what we want and getting it. Yes. Accept your struggles as lessons. That's huge. Accept your struggles as lessons. Don't think you'll repeat the same thing over and over again. And I'm going to tell you this. 
release release toxic relationships. Yeah, don't hold a relationship if it's if it's gone bad. You know, it's no good for anybody in this situation. And feel joy in all that you do. Again, getting your passion ignited. Now, let's look at the last two messages for the month. Freedom. Moving on and letting go. If you're if your thoughts, Cancer, have been holding you back from having a satisfying relationship, it's time to let them go and it's time to be free and spread your wings. Very powerful message right there. All right. Last but not least, this is the last message for the month, and it says, this is a blessing in disguise. Hmm. Be patient and have faith that your angels have this situation under control. What will come is far better than you dared to dream. And that's what it's about. It's about being free from the constraints of your mind and, and having it limit you in some way instead of enjoying life. You deserve it just as much as everybody else. And it's time this month for you to claim it. Cancer, I hope that was great for you. I hope that you find love. I hope you open your heart and get your passion ignited because this month and the rest of the year will go so much smoother once you do that. Thank you very much, Cancer. I will see you next month.